Alright guys and uh, welcome to this video uh, and uh, today I'm gonna just like uh, give you a full walkthrough to Windows 11 There's not much difference between 11 and uh, 10 because the settings are the same just like a little bit interface difference but I'm gonna just uh, show you uh, that what are the things that I can you that you can do to make your windows much faster so and now let's begin in the video and I already know that uh, you have been seeing my hacking tutorials from some time from some quiet time there's a there's like a fault only the introduction of hacking i'm just talking about what we do actually so that kind of stuff so i will be uploading more videos plenty more videos but not all of them so because youtube will not allow me to do that so i will try my best and now let's get started in the video so now first of all we're gonna just uh do some of the easy easy things that uh you guys should know you just like clearing some temporary catches and uh, first of all just press windows plus r and type 3 so by pr uh, typing this uh, you will they will just clear some of the like a uh, subfolders kind of st stuff like that that has been running in the uh, background they will just clear that those tasks let's press it again now type temp and press enter now uh, hold control plus a and uh, just click on the delete key and uh, close this one press it again now just make a put a percentage before the temp and after the temp hit enter just like do the same and uh, which uh, files are not deleting just click on that do this for all current items and click on skip option because all of the files cannot be deleted like this ADB now uh, we're gonna just like uh, right click on the recycle bin just empty the recycle bin uh, continue nice work all right, the first process has already been done. Now let's move to the second process. Now we're gonna just manually check out uh, which of the drives are in the, uh, which in which drive we have the uh, like Windows stuff. So we have that in the Windows C. Let's go to that and uh, keep an eye. Just go to the program files and check if there is any like extra folder that you don't need. Like I know sometimes happens what like the some of the third party software download some like uh, shitty uh, folders in here. So you can just like delete them. From here, go to common files. There might be some of the files. You can also check in the program files x86. You can just check here if there is something that you don't want to mess with or that you just want to delete. You can do that. But in my case, I have every single thing that I need, so I will not be messing with that stuff uh, for now. And uh, another thing is, you can go to the users, you can go to the your name, and uh, go to the uh, app data and uh, go to local. And in here you might find some of the app that you might have already deleted but they are not completely deleted there's like some things uh, left in here like this Valorant uh, that I deleted a long time ago I'm just gonna delete that this is not important that the files are gonna be so big in size no it's not that important but you know uh, sometimes they leave some of the folders behind that can't be deleted even if you uninstall the program directly from the control panel so you need to do that from here all right let's go back and you can also check in the roaming options there are also some of the apple some of the things in here like the mc leaks i'm gonna delete that and uh opera software you can see that's already is also a bit on like you know, at this at this point that we don't need obs virtual cam nope voice mirror default nope and uh Oh, we don't need that. Uh, dope. I never use that op uh, so like flash but I use EMC, no. You can check your how you can just like delete a lot of stuff from here. Like what's the sun? It's a Java thing, you know, when I wanna leave that. So you can already see if I have deleted some of the things and you might in your if in, if then in your case you're not seeing this app data because it's a hidden folder, just click on here and uh go to options. No I'm sorry, I'm gonna go like uh this show and uh, click on the hidden items so they're going to show you some of the hidden items that are, are available there and you can always just delete some of the videos that you don't want to be there or delete some pictures music uh whatever you want to delete all right we got through that thing now we're going to go to the windows settings and i'm going to explain every single thing to you that what you can do to clear a screen so in our case where is it? we're using windows 11 so the interface is a little bit different from windows and in the background you see notice some of the applications yes i'm installing the fortnite just for some time 
So in the displays, yeah, I have two displays actually. So we're not gonna consider uh, talk about that because that doesn't matter. So you can always just like go to advanced display and that is like not connected with the uh, performance stuff. So we're gonna leave that. And uh, we're gonna go to power. And this is like so much related with the with our performance. All right. So our settings just crashed. I'm gonna go to power, and uh, here you can see power mode and kind of like that. And uh, just click on the more about. No, sorry, not the more about. Power and sleep. This is the problem uh, with this new interface. It doesn't just like use us the power to directly go into the control panel. So we need to just manually just type that here. Just click on edit uh, power plan. And uh, if you're on laptop, that doesn't matter. But for now, I'm just talking about the performance. So I'm gonna click on the change advanced power settings. Oh uh, no, just uh, click on this power options. Go back to power options and set the value to high performance. Click on change plan settings. And you can see you just make sure they are never because it irritated you a lot. Just go click on the change advanced power settings and uh, you can see they turn off blah blah blah. Just go all the way down to processor power management. Just set the minimum uh, to zero and the maximum to 100 plus and just click apply. And okay, so there we go. You can see where our PC will just like work much better than before because those things matter a lot. So you're gonna go to now storage. So here we have some option like a storage sense. Well, I'm not gonna prefer you just turn this storage sense off you. Well, you can do that, but hey, the problem is the storage sense will sometimes run in background and if you just like uh, uh, make your process go a little bit uh, slower. So it's all up to you. You can just turn it on and it will automatically delete the temporary files and stuff, you know. What I mean to say about that, and you can just manually just click on the temporary files here, and you can see there are already Windows update cleanup, those kind of stuff files. You can also delete the down down those files. You can also uh, clean your recycle. Just click on the remove files in here. Just click on continue. So you can see I got like three gigabyte of files clean from the Windows uh, like temporary files, and that's quite a lot. Like a normal case, you won't you will not find that, but I don't know. It's some kind of like Windows catches thing going on here, but that's what what created the problem. I would say. Uh, so the thing is, it my PC might be going a little bit slower because you know this is also downloading the file, also installing the file, also reading from the file. So you know you can see already it's like writing at the 500 megabyte per second speed. So that's a quite a lot. So I'm gonna just cancel this right now. Because I'm making a video, it will just take forever for us. So in the multitasking video, there's not much you can do here. Just like just snap the windows, like you can hover, uh, uh, hover in between your like you know the minimizer and maximizer option. You can just like uh, use different uh, snip and snap windows kind of stuff. That's the thing of Windows 11. In the activation, I will always prefer you to activate Windows. It gives a lot of it gives you a lot of uh, privilege that you can access, and it's so easy to access activate the Windows. Like it's free, you can just activate that using CMD. Just search on Google how to add, activate Windows and using CMD, and go to the website name as minitool.com, and just activate from there. And uh, from the recover for the recovery option, uh, here you can just let me click on this one. Like I said, uh, the Windows 10 problem, and I'm gonna talk discuss uh, about those things in the, like you know, and the control panel. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna go to control panel, so you can see my device preferences. I got like a uh, Windows, uh, I got like AMD Ryzen 5 3600 6 cores and 3.6 gigahertz, and I got 16 gigs of RAM and 64 x based uh, Windows. So that's all for that, and we're gonna go to the Bluetooth and devices. There's not much you can do in here. You can always just like turn off the settings. Blah blah blah. Just leave that. And the uh, network internet. Just make sure to leave every single thing as it is because you, you don't want to be messing with that stuff. Personalization personalization doesn't have anything to do with our stuff. So in the, in the apps option, there are so many things you can just change, and you need to make sure. And I will always prefer to delete those apps that you really don't want to use, like the unnecessary apps that have might that you might have deleted downloaded a long time long time ago. But so now now you don't feel like the need of the apps, so you want to get rid of them, like this one. Well, this is an important application though, but you know, I don't need it right now. Whenever I need it, I will just download it. It's not much of a big deal, you know. Just make sure to clean stuff wherever you go. I have that kind of belief, so. You can see already. 
my setting is a lot of cleaner now go to offline maps and uh, I want you to make sure that your offline map is always turned off like why the hell would anyone just like turn this offline maps on option on it will just like run in the background eat your pro performance and blah 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 stuff and uh, apps for websites let me just take a look at that I just turn every single thing off in here they will just run in the background and you don't want to do that video playback and just turn every single thing off startup you can just like check anything and uh, I'm going to talk a brief about this in the future not in the future I'm going to say after some time leave the account stuff leave the uh, time and gaming we really don't gonna not gonna just do anything in that but if you really want to go like go to the speech option and, and take a look here what kind of devices you have blah 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 stuff like that go to gaming option go to Xbox game just make sure to turn this option off because it's so shit I don't want to use the Xbox game bar go to captures turn every single thing off in there go to game mode just turn it off it's so bad but probably in the accessibility option you can just turn off every single thing but there's not much you can do in the accessibility option because you know I'll just leave the accessibility option because it's already just set it to the best thing you can go to the privacy and security and here we have some of the things that you need to concentrate you need to listen to me so first of all I'm going to talk about the Windows security well probably Windows security is not a great, a great option you can go with so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell you about talk about that right now. So we're gonna go to the virus and threat options, and uh, in here I can just go to in this, uh, scan options like I'm gonna say custom scan. Well, make sure that you can see they're all automatically scanning in the background. Well, I'm gonna just turn this option off, and also make sure to turn those. Just turn those three options off and just turn this real time prediction option on because it will uh, protect your PC from downloading some uh, the malicious applic malicious applications. But those uh, like the other options are shits. They just do nothing. They just eat your performance. Trust me. And in here, what well, we got again? We got like a firewall and network prediction. I was just disable them for myself. Well, I don't want you to disable them for yourself because they can be useful for you. Just leave them. Open. And the device security, nothing much, nothing much in here, nothing much in here. Also, you can always recover your uh, like applications uh, from the like uh, recent virus and threat predictions notification like that. Well, no, I'm not gonna talk go deep into that. So always make sure to update your Windows because they always fix something, some of the bugs that may that would might affect your PC going slower or something like that. And you can also go to the advanced settings, just like turn those options on and off. And the daily, daily optimization, I'm gonna say just turn it off because it just eats your performance. Recovery option, you can always create a reset point. I'm gonna just talk about that a little bit time after, you know. First of all, I'm just concentrating on this one. Uh, always make sure to update the PC. So, and uh, another thing I wanna mention here. Just always click check this option pause updates for one week because you don't want to just like your PC to be updating every single time you just log into your PC because that will become so shit. Alright, we've already just gone through every single thing we have in there, so now we're gonna just go into a little bit more things. We're gonna go to the control panel, I meant to say. So first of all we're gonna just talk about the main system security. You can see already so many options here. Like I told you about the power options, we're gonna well, I already talk about that. So now I'm gonna just talk about the security and uh, maintenance. You can see here we have the recovery option. You can just create a recovery dive. You can open it, rest, open rest, system mm -hmm. restore, restore. So we're gonna just open that. You can restore the system from here, or you can just create a new recovery dive. So what it does is just like uh, creates uh, like a checkpoint for the PC that you can always just go to that checkpoint and you can just like have those applications that will save at that checkpoint and you will not be you will not have any access to the uh, like applications or files that were created after that checkpoint. So that's how it works. And there's not much in this script maintenance. In the Windows different firewall, we already talked about this. I told you it's all up to you. You can do whatever you want. In the system options, like uh, there's not really much in here. I, I also did talk about that one. In the power options, I also talked about the power options. Set this to high performance. There are like another custom uh, files that you can use that will just set this to ultimate performance. You can always do that. You can just find it on Google. But I don't have time to do that. But I'm I'm just talking about the like you know overall stuff. So. Uh, you can see the file history, you can just go to the storage senses and uh, you can just create a new, new folder in the storage space. It's not uh, an anything you need to just deal with, just forget it, you know. Just forget it. It's a shit stuff, you can always go to the programs option, you can just like go to programs and features and you can delete and uh, and you can delete your files from here, that's what I'm just talking about. Just make your PC a little bit more free, delete some of the shitty applications. You can change the default programs here, you can set any default programs from that option. So. 
now I'll go to now I'm gonna go to one second all right now I'm gonna go to the uh, user accounts so user accounts they're just like being uh, some of the user accounts that have, that you have created like guest accounts and your own account your brother or sister's account your father's account like that like the user for them so you can they can log into their own users and they can do whatever they want what they want whatever the hell they want to do so yeah you can go to the network internet and just go to network and the uh, sharing center of the going to do that you can just click on your connection and uh, you can just click on the properties just double tap on the internet protocol version of four uh, and you can always change your dns server to eight part like this one eight point eight point eight point eight and uh eight point four point four so this is the Google preferred DNS. So for now, I'm just downloading some stuff. So I'm not gonna change this mess with this stuff. You can just click also click on the change Adapter sharing uh, setting. Uh, no, I'm just I'm gonna just say change adapter settings and double tap on this one. Or I'll just go to properties directly, and you can do that stuff from here also. So you know they're interrelated related with each, each, with each other. And then you can go to appearance and personalization. Here you can see you would have access to all of your phones that you have downloaded or your PC has currently has. You can just check with how what uh, what kind of fonts your PC have and what you, font you want to be there and what you want to delete like yeah, easy as that you can delete the fonts make your PC more uh, like lighter by deleting deleting out some of the files you can go to the ease of access center you can just also like give it a look and see what you want what you don't want you can also go to the taskbar uh, navigation option and just give a look at that. There's another option clock and region. You can just change the date, date and time. You can there's also ease and all ease of access. Like I already talked about, my body kind of turned this option off, so we don't need to just talk about that stuff. All right now, I'm gonna go to the hardware and sound. One second, let me drink some water. All right, in here I can all right, like we already talked about the uh, power option. There's not much to do in the sound in the device printers. You can just take a look at that, but there's not really much you can do in there. So I'm gonna go to the programs option. All right, we'll already talk about that, and we'll also talk about the ease of access. You can just click on here and just set it to the small icon. Then we'll get access to all of the files that you might wanna just like take a look at and uh, do something about them. All right. So I wanted to just tell you another thing. So that's like go to system and security option. You can go to search for system I'm gonna go to settings I'm gonna go to this uh, I'm gonna go to uh, I'm already in the system right yeah I am so there might be an option like uh, my PC about and there should be an option advanced system settings so you're gonna go to the advanced system settings you can change in the computer name from here. You can just change the hardware kind of stuff. You can also add some system progression, like I already told you. It's like a recovery stuff. You can also add a remote to your PC. Or uh, what you can do, you can just increase a PC performance by clicking on the uh, settings of the performance. And by clicking here, you can see we are getting a different option. There's like showing the visual effects, advanced, and uh, data execution prevention. So in here, you can just like check check for the adjust for best prof appearance or adjust for best performance. If you're just going to check for the best performance there's not gonna be much difference but you know the shadow is gonna sting out gonna go like they're gonna just disappear if you apply it might lag a bit no it's not it's not gonna probably lag you can see the things have changed a bit sometimes the font might be a bit more crispy than it was before it might be a little bit hard to read because they were also changed the font make it the font a little bit you know much uh lower so i'll just return it to default in the advanced setting you can check there are like just showing the process of scheduling in the virtual memory allocation so you can always check what you want to both best for funds to go for for the ongoing programs or for the services that are running in the background you know i want to just make sure to get the memory on the background service you always want to make sure to get the memory to the like on running programs and now when you just click on the change option here you can almost just you can just uh, uncheck the option automatically manage paging file size for all drivers and uh, just like uh, select on your main uh, disk and just uncheck the custom size option so I'm going to just select this one custom size I'm going to just set this uh, main size to like I need to just make sure go all the way like your memory have like if you have a 16 gigs of RAM uh, let's talk about you have 8 gigs of RAM you need to double your RAM and put the double size in here 
in my case that is 32,000 and uh, in EB here we need to just like multiply that with 1.5 so I'm gonna go to calculator 